We've been through this before a fuck a lot. I gave you respect on the voting thing when the, before the election. I gave you respect for that. Um, I think we debated uh, about a white man set them free. Um, first of all, the race card has never worked in America. I can honestly prove that to you because when a group of white guys felt as if they wanted to call me nigger and all this and that shit, I chose not to use the race card. I've been at a place for over five years and two white guys come in off the blue out of the cuff out of nowhere and get hired permanent when I was a temp for five years doing the exact same work these white guys did now see the race card does not work for black people it only works for white people and white people still use the race card uh, I drink fuck a lot just like you. Now, I'm not going to call you no names. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to debate you on merit. White people use the race card more so than any other race of people on the planet. Thus, the history of being on top. If white people did not use the race card as much as they have over the last 300 years, they would not be Quote me if you want to, on top. Now let me explain about being on top. Hold on. What's the deal, boy? Better be somebody coming in the door. Nope, nobody coming in the door. That means you got to shut the fuck up, doggy. Shut up, doggy. Now, fuck a lot, you still fucking? Okay, I got you. So, when white people use the race card, they use the race card to get jobs, they use the race card to get credit, they use the race card to get ahead. And the difference between you and those white people who use the race card is you are not in their quote unquote standard of where you can be. You cannot use the race card because of how you are. You're not of that blue blood. You're not that real white man. You're not that what Hitler was looking forward to in life. You are not in position to use the race card because of who you are. And those white people who do use the race card are the ones that are gonna fuck you out of a job seven months from now. They're gonna fuck you in the future and they're gonna fuck you at the gas pump. Yeah, I said it. The white man controls the gas because he gets it from the Arab and they refine it in refineries all across America. The refineries in America, like the one in Crockett, California. What? What did I say? If I was a white guy, I could probably talk to someone who I know or someone who's there to get a job at the refinery. See, the moral of the story is this, man. All you have to do is pick up roots the next generation, and you can see how white people have benefited, not just from slavery, but from, quote, unquote, the race car. Yeah, old Br'er Rabbit, when he's faced with difficulty, he find a way. Now, see, if I was a white man in my same situation, I need not go through drama-filled bullshit. When I go apply for a job, you know what the average white woman tells me? You know there's drug testing here. Now, when you look at a black person or a person of color, Mexican, what have you, or whatever, or a young white kid who be rocking the Obama, they get looked at differently. When you look at me, you just see a regular person. You hear my voice and you hear me speak, I do not sound like the average black person on the streets. Why? Is it because I have this great education? No. Is it because I have this will beyond all belief to be better than what I am? No. Is it the fact because I can speak to a person 
slow enough so they can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? No. I am what I am because of the situation around me. And in my lifetime, I have seen white people get over. What do I mean by get over? Check it. I grew up in Rodejo, California. There was one period in my lifetime, matter of fact, it was a hellified summer, where a young white girl had been raped, beaten up, and thrown over, uh, I guess it was like a, thrown into like a, off a 60 foot walkway down onto some railroad tracks. She didn't die. The little brother in return says, a couple black guys took her, drove off in a blue Mustang. Now the black guys who drove the blue Mustang in the neighborhood, the quote unquote badass niggas, went in hiding. Shit, the little white boy identified the blue car that this black guy drives. Now, the Ku Klux Klan heard about these two, three black guys raping this little white girl and throwing her over this thing and she not dying. They rushed to her aid. Race car baby. And they're at the hospital. The mother's like, I don't know. Da, 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 da. They said, we finna ride on these niggas. We're going to kill every nigga in the projects until we find the motherfucker who did it. So, the black guys in the neighborhood, this is a fucking true story. Look it the fuck up. Now, the white guy in the story, the young white kid, you know, he's all cool. You know, his sister's is dying. You know, she ain't going to come up out this coma. The mother went there to the hospital and was praying. Clan. Hell's Angels, everybody sat at her bed and prayed. The girl woke up. Then the girl, now, the clan is marching. They're getting ready to march on my neighborhood. The projects in Rodejo, right up the street, or down the street, from Hillcrest Elementary School. Check it out. Okay? Right next to CNH. Not CNH, that's in Crockett. Right next to, um, God damn, what's that oil refinery? Oh, you know. Chevron um, and the girl woke up and she said my brother did it now I went to Safeway with a friend of mine and he was shoplifted I ended up in juvenile hall in the same room with this white boy the same one that raped and tried to murder his little sister and blame it on a group of black people. Now, when the Klan drove through the neighborhood, they didn't get out because they had already heard the news. But when the Hells Angels rolled through the neighborhood, they rolled through the neighborhood loud and they let everybody know if you niggas get out of motherfucking line, it's going fucking down. The black guys and in the fast back Mustang, well, the police just did not say anything to them. They let it fade away. But in the minds of all those people, all they could do is remember the little white boy blamed the black guys who lived in the projects for raping and trying to murder his sister, and he fucking did it. So, who used a race card in that situation? Because when the Klan beat the shit out that white boy and sent him to juvenile hall and stuck his ass in the room with me, what did I say to him? Is your sister all right? And he didn't speak. He didn't speak to nobody. And when I was released the next day, I didn't tell nobody I was in the room with that motherfucker. Because a friend of mine, a black kid, had been shoplifted in the fucking store and I went to jail for the weekend. Therefore, irony is a motherfucker. 
there is no race car.